Let R be the two by two matrix that reflects every vector across the y-axis. What is the kernel of R? The kernel of R is the same as the kernel of the transformation, which is the set of all the input vectors x and rn such that under the transformation, the output vector is the zero vector. So we're looking for the set of vectors that after being reflected across the y-axis will give us the zero vector. Let's first take a look at this using geometric reasoning. For this graph, we will consider the blue vectors, input vectors, and the red vectors, output vectors. And again, under this transformation, each vector is reflected across the y-axis. So if the input vector is the vector 4, 7, this vector here, then the output vector is the vector negative 4, 7. And again, we're looking for the vectors under this transformation will give us an output vector of the zero vector. If the input vector is the vector negative 5, 0, the output vector is the vector 5, 0. If the input is the vector negative 2, negative 6, then the output vector is 2, negative 6. And if the input vector is the vector 7, negative 3, the output vector is the vector negative 7, negative 3. From here, we should be able to recognize the only input vector that's going to give an output vector of the zero vector after being reflected across the y-axis would be the zero vector itself. And therefore, the kernel of R, or the kernel of the transformation, is equal to the set containing only the zero vector. But let's also take a look at this by determining the transformation matrix. One way to determine the columns of the transformation matrix is to determine the transformations of the standard basis vectors, or in our case, because we're in R2, the transformations of the vectors 1, 0, and 0, 1. If we reflect the standard basis vector E1, or the vector 1, 0, across the y-axis, the result will be the vector negative 1, 0, which gives us the first column of the transformation matrix. And if we reflect the vector E2, or the vector 0, 1, across the y-axis, the output vector is the same vector of 0, 1, and therefore the second column of the transformation matrix is 0, 1. So under this transformation, when the input vector is x, y, the output vector is negative x, y, again, because the transformation is a reflection across the y-axis. If a vector is reflected across the y-axis, the x component changes sign. So if, we were to, so if we were to try to find a basis for the kernel of the transformation, or the kernel of R, we would set up and solve the equation matrix A times vector x equals the zero vector. And let's go ahead and do that. And now let's go ahead and set up and solve the system using an augmented matrix. The first row is going to be negative one, zero, zero. The second row is zero, one, zero. And to write the augmented matrix in reduced row echelon form, we would multiply row one by negative one first row becomes 1, 0, 0. The second row remains 0, 1, 0. And notice how the first row indicates x is equal to 0. The second row indicates that y is equal to 0. The only solution to the system is the trivial solution of x equals 0 and y equals 0, which indicates the kernel of t is the set containing just the 0 vector, as we found geometrically. I hope you found this helpful.